Hi folks, I'm meteorologist Ryan Hoke with Sunday's edition of the Hokie Video Blog. Glad you could join us here on this somewhat gloomy morning for folks on the Kentucky side of the river. Indiana side seeing a little more sunshine than some folks, so there's some good news there. We're going to be seeing more sunshine as we head throughout the afternoon. But first, we've got a few rain showers to contend with. They're not very big before we see the sun. By the way, the sun, that's on today's Hokie weather fact. We're talking about those halos that you sometimes see around it that and the moon as well. They're caused by these cirrus clouds that you can barely see up there. The cirrus clouds are made of ice crystals. The ice crystals take the light from the sun and the moon and they reflect and refract it in all different directions and eventually it creates this halo just like that. We get a lot of questions about that, especially during the wintertime season when you get one of these before a snowstorm arrives and that certainly signals the arrival of one because you get the cirrus clouds before you get the actual disturbance. Sunday is in the Parklands. That's what's happening today at Beckley Creek Park at the PNC Achievement Center. Members of the Louisville Astronomical Society will be out there with their high-powered telescopes with special filters that only allow one millionth of the light in that they usually do so you don't burn your retinas while looking at the sun. Yeah, we'll be looking at the sun through those telescopes this afternoon. Hopefully we get some sun because we do have a chance for a couple showers in there and some clouds, but might get enough peaks of sunshine in there to make it worthwhile. Hopefully. We'll cross our fingers on that and hope the trend it speeds up on getting those clouds out. On our SkyTrack network of cameras, you see the clouds there and some sunshine in Corden this morning. And as we head throughout areas of Kentuckiana, you'll also notice that we've got the clouds in Shepherdsville as well, but more clouds than sun. Starlight's starting to see a few breaks in those clouds. Looks like a nice day up there so far. Norton Commons starting to see into the 80s, but here are the showers that we're tracking this morning, mainly south and east of Metro Louisville. You'll see them into Marion County, Washington County, Kentucky, Green, Taylor, Hart, even on down into Adair County at this time, where we do have some of those showers, even Southern Nelson. They're not very heavy. Drip drops on the windshield where you see the yellow spots. That's where we could have some lighter rain moving through instead of just the drizzle and some of the drip drops. So more of a steady rain in those spots. A lot of this isn't being picked up by radar. So if you are seeing some very light rain this morning and it's not on the radar, and that's probably why, because they're just too low, the clouds are, for them to be picked up by the radar. Got some of those showers in eastern Kentucky at this point, but you'll notice how the sun's breaking out over Indiana at this point. Yeah, but on the Kentucky side of the river, that's where we've got the clouds. You'll see there with the gray from the infrared satellite view should become the visible satellite view here in just a little bit as we do have the sun peeking out. An extended view shows you the secondary area of low pressure over southern Kentucky right now. That's powering up some of those showers in eastern portions of Kentucky and some of our small little showers and drizzle that we've got over our region at the moment. Temperatures are in the 60s and near 70 on the Kentucky side of the river where we've got the clouds that helps, helps to insulate things. We've got the showers, too, on the Indiana side where they've had a little more clear sky overnight. That's allowed things to drop into the 60s, the lower 60s in some places, with 62 now in North Vernon as of this recording. Futurecast shows us that we do have a few showers hanging around even through the early afternoon. I do not think they'll be quite as heavy as they look to be on here because yesterday that seemed to be the case. This likes to overdo the precipitation amounts. By the evening, by 6 o'clock, if you're heading out to Forecastle, shower or two may remain, but I think the chance is very low because as we go throughout the evening, as we lose the sunlight, they decrease. We see a partly cloudy night, and by the morning commute on your Monday, things should be calm and precipitation-free. If you're heading out to Forecastle, 20% chance of rain by 1 o'clock. By 6, it's a 10% chance. Pretty negligible as we go throughout that time frame with partly cloudy to partly sunny skies as the raconteurs in Beck, or I should say the replacements, they're actually on tonight, and Beck are performing at Forecastle. Things should be fairly nice with precipitation out of the area, temperatures falling through the 70s. We've got a pattern change coming up over the next couple of days. This trough of low pressure begins to decrease in intensity and kind of moves up into Canada somewhat. That's where the cool air is going to stay. Hot weather out west, that's going to be creeping in here along with sunshine as we go throughout today, tomorrow, the next day, and even into Wednesday. So on our high temperature trend, that means three days of 90s. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all in the 90s. By Tuesday, you know what? We could hit the mid-90s if things heat up even more than what some of the data is projecting here by Wednesday, we're up to 94. Then a pretty good shot of showers and thunderstorms moves through with a cold front Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. 
At this point, some of these could be on the strong side throughout that time frame. We'll watch that. The fact that they will probably be coming through at night helps things out in that department. They won't be as strong, but with the amount of winds we have aloft, they're not crazy, but they're certainly enough to support some marginal level severe weather in the area. We'll be keeping an eye on that over the next several days. But for now, just enjoy the warmer temperatures today and some of the sunshine that we'll be seeing as we go throughout the afternoon. I'm meteorologist Ryan Hoke. Thanks for watching.